What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeff, back in with another video. And today I have a little problem here, and I'm trying to find a solution for it. And the problem is, right here, my iPad. Now, I kind of dropped it in the cover, but I don't know what happened. I'm thinking it's the drop. I dropped this thing many times, but it wasn't, you know, hard fall. But, turn it on, everything was working perfectly, but couldn't get Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was graying out, so I don't know what's going on, you know, so I cleaned it out, recovered it, boom, and I got a gray, as you can see, when I go to Wi-Fi here, I don't know you guys can see that, so I go to Wi-Fi and it's grayed out, now, when I try to turn on Wi-Fi here, nothing, nothing happens. It's just grayed out. It doesn't see the Wi-Fi. The Bluetooth doesn't work. The, 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 the cellular data, which I barely use, but it never worked either. So all the radios, I think, something clunked out, something separated. It's an iPod Air, you know, about five years old. So I went, see I could get it fixed. 300 bucks. 275. Shit, it's not worth that. I mean, let's be real. It's not worth that much. You know what I'm saying? They say, oh, we swap and give you another one. But still, $300 to $330, you get the new one. The, the sixth, seventh, you know, eighth generation one for $330. So it's not really worth it, you know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? Let me bring my old apps back since I backed it up before I cleaned it out. What happens? Forgot that when you bring your apps back, they need to be authenticated again. So I got some of the ads back and they cannot finish loading because it's asking for it to be authenticated, meaning, you know, you purchase a lot of these apps, blah, blah, blah. It came from uh, the server Apple ID or whatnot with your password. You got to put it in. But even if I put it in, it's not connecting to a network because it has no network connection at all. So I'm like, oh, my God. So now I got a brick because I was thinking, you know what I'm saying, I put the DJI, fly drones, so I was going to put the DJI app, it doesn't need, it doesn't need Wi-Fi and all like that, just connect it, you know, update it, and just use it as a big screen for my, you know, for flying drones, so I said, at least I have that, even though I can't, you know, everything else is this, so I just have a nice big screen, you know, beats throwing it away, so I'm stuck, so I figured something out, I mean, I had, I heard, some people work, some people don't work. And that's how we're going to try this together. The Ethernet connection through the lightning port. Now, I went to the Apple store. And I already had a USB to lightning connector that I used for the cameras. So this I had. So I said, we're going to try this together now. Let me see. Let's see if it works. If it works, it works. It doesn't know. So I put the lightning cable. Now, what I did get was the original Apple Ethernet, USB to Ethernet, original Apple. So I know all the Apple products will work. I have no problems. Cost me 30 bucks, you know, what the hell. And as a backup, because I heard that, you know, the latest USB to Lightning connector, and in case the Ethernet has needs power, and extra power, you could connect your Lightning cable to it and give it extra power. It's more guarantee that it's going to work with this one. So I bought as a backup, you know, saying if it works with my original one, I could return this. But if it doesn't, we give this one a try. And I'm going to give it a try with my old, you know, with my old USB to lightning connector. So here we go. There it goes. Okay. So I have an Ethernet connector right here. I connected this right here and so we're gonna connect the, the camera USB to lightning here this is the one I already had so let's see if I don't have to open the new one I bought it'll work with the original old one that I had got to get on um, some connections here so I plugged it in and we shall see let me go to settings Nope, it does not see it. As you can see, you're supposed to see Ethernet here, and it's not, it's not seeing it. No Ethernet. You know, so for that reason, we're gonna use 
the secondary connector that I bought, which is this one. This one has Ethernet slot and also uh, what you might call it a lightning connector to give it extra power. See that? Let's try this out. So I'm going to connect this to this and I'm going to give it some extra power. So I have an Ethernet cable, but I do have one here. So this has power now. And we're gonna try it one more time. My last hope, boys. Okay. And Ethernet. I got it. Oh my god, I got it. You can see right here. I don't know how good you can see it. Guys, come on. Focus. There you go. Say it's Ethernet. See right there in the blue? And as you can see, Ethernet. See that? It popped up Ethernet right underneath the Wi-Fi. So right now it has Ethernet through USB adapter with the power source working. Beautiful. So I'm going to test it out. Let's go here to the... <laughs> and let's go visit a website here. Let's go to JR Cigars. go beautiful I got internet baby let's go to Yahoo here just to test it one time and Yahoo the 10 over 100 so I got this app that I had here which is the what you might call it speed test so we go to the speed test here see how it works it should work you know stay about 100 because that's the maximum speed at a 10 100 um, Ethernet connection, so it's probably going to be hopefully close to us. So, eight there you go. I'm getting about 90, 93. The cap is 100, so perfect. I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, listen, this is a brick without it. $300 fix. Now, I just bought you know, Ethernet adapter, spent like I don't know, 60 70 bucks, which I probably could get cheaper by buying online, but it works. I just want to confirm that this thing does work so as you can see it shows ethernet so the combination does work ethernet ethernet that is beautiful <laughs> we experienced this together guys we experienced this together get the original get originals you know what I'm saying get the original usb to ethernet adapter from apple cost 29 dollars and get the original lightning to um usb adapter 3.0 the one with the power source so this combination works so anyway guys till next time is your boy jeff see ya